Hi guys, welcome to Red Sweet Outdoor. Today I'm going to cook up something that most people probably consider as pub grub, but it has also been voted as England's most popular comfort food. So, tag along. Welcome to Cloudy Gothenburg. Uh, we have quite nice weather, uh, temperatures are in their 15s and there above. And uh, today, if you hear some noise in the background, uh, drums and uh, loud speaker voices and whatnot, it's because we have a celebration in Gothenburg. Uh, now, because we are celebrating 400 years, a bit delayed due to the pandemics, uh, but there is a marathon going, and uh, it's not that close, but uh, since it's open between me and the marathons, uh, the noises are leaking quite good up here. Uh, so, I'm sorry for that. Well, today I'm talking about doing some pub grub and uh, this is also a dish I suppose you can find almost everywhere in some kind of variety. Uh, but today I'm going for the British version, bangers and mash. Uh, but a slight tweak, or two that is. Uh, the first one is I'm going to include these two beauties since I found them on the way and I thought it was too bad not to use them and uh, you can see probably maybe the little spikes uh, and in Sweden this is Tagsvamp I put a banner in English uh, so they're tagging along and uh, not part of the original and I'm going to tweak the onion gravy since a proper onion gravy it takes at least an hour to do uh, and uh, besides proper onion gravy often becomes better the larger the batch and <laughs> I'm doing a batch for one. So uh, I'm going to do more of the Swedish variety of onion gravy uh, that we use for uh, pork belly and stuff. So somewhere in between, a uh, kind of hybrid. So, let's start chopping up the grub. Here's the ingredients and today's kitchen will be the Trangia Mini. And a okay, kind fluke, my plate fits inside the bag. Let's open this up. And I made some small tweaks. And I had those thin uh, cutting boards. So I took this one and I made it, punched a lot of holes in it. So uh, that I can use it as a strainer. And it also protects the non stick area. And that's nice. Zip lock, zip tie from before. Thanks, Thomas, for the tip. So, let's peel the platers first because I'm I don't have a problem usually with the potato peels. Uh, if I fry them or so, I usually leave it on. But for mash, nah. It doesn't fail fit, so 
Let's remove the clothing. And since I'm doing mash, uh, I want small pieces. So uh, it qu boils much quicker. Doesn't have to be pretty pieces. I'm gonna mash them anyway. Generous amount of salt, always Mongolian potatoes because they are sweet. And water enough just to barely cover the potatoes. last time but it will take some time so I better fill her up good. Almost full. And because I'm boiling potatoes I'm going full throttle. Feels a bit warm. I think there's a flame going. Oh yes. Put you there. And this is what I like with the mini. Uh, since this claw, you see below here, this little edge keeps it steady, even if it's leaning a bit. And let's prepare the rest. It's not so, not so much. Just peel an onion and uh, cut the mushrooms in a little smaller pieces. And then I'm done just waiting. So let's get this working. Might as well move this closer. As you can see, the wind was picking up, so the windshield is now being used again. Let's see how our potatoes are doing, if they are getting closer. It looks promising. Yeah, soft and nice, that's good. And uh, this is potatoes of the flower kind. So uh, they are extra good for doing much. Put you over here, plate above, to keep the heat, and let's put down the simmering. Because now we don't have to go all out anymore. Something like so. And frying pan. Butter. It's done with the bangers. There's one with garlic 
and one with bacon and cheese. And I guess this, uh, this is going to be absolutely fabulous. And since there isn't room, let's put down mushrooms. And while the sausage is doing its thing, I think it's time to start doing the mash. So let's see how my strainer actually works. I mean, in theory, it's on. Uh, in reality, well, who knows? Let's put this over here. I took the idea and tried to copy the one that I got to my Lord Trangia. Let's see if it actually works out. Well, somewhat. Yeah, not too shabby. So, let's add some salt. And some black pepper. I know it's a matter of opinion if you're going white pepper or black pepper to mash. For me, black. But you do. I'm cool either way. And a little butter. And let's see if I can manage this somewhat elegant. It's my gloves are protection enough. Just start mashing down. The fork. side of the bangers. Get some heat on that too. Why are you resisting? Let's bring Some nutmeg for the mash makes it really good. Now then, there's two things I can't picture myself making without nutmeg, and that's lasagna and mashed potatoes. I think it adds that much to the table, so you can't really be without it. it looks like my mushes are. Done. So let's take them up and leave them to wait. So, just a little time. And some milk for the mash. 
get the texture you want. Keep on mashing it together. I think we hit the spot right away. And let's add some more butter to get this, you know, creamy texture on it, making it all shiny. And maybe flip this to this side. Oh yes, we are getting there. plate over to try to retain some heat and I think the bangers look more or less done. Let's put them here for now and let's start with the onions. That in the original you're supposed to caramelize the onions for quite some time. Sometimes between half an hour, three quarters of an hour. But uh, I'm going to do this much quicker. And to get a better caramelized, some salt to pull out the moisture from the onions. Not too much since I'm going to add soy to this later on for color. And soy, that's pretty salty. So don't go overboard in this step. Take much less than you think. Now to get some color, I will add some mushroom soy, and this one hasn't even been opened yet, so that's the premiere. Little by little, it's easy to overdo it. Add two more drops one and two to get the color I like. Let this boil down a little bit more. more pepper I think. That should be it. And just like with the mashed potatoes, I add some butter on the end 
while this boils down to get this bit more shiny uh, like it's supposed to be. I think that the spirit is on the last leg. Do they really have to refill it? We'll see. Well, this boils down the last, I'm going to put up the rest of the stuff on a plate. So. The mash. on top put that there for now and we pour over the onion cream here and And the mushies on top and on the side, of course, there should be green peas. Bring more color to this dish. And there we have it. Bangers and mash. Can't get any much better, huh? So, but with the autumn touch from Sweden with the mushrooms. And uh, since it's considered pub grub, of course, you had to top this off with a West Coast IPA. I mean, after all, I'm at the West Coast, so. Oh, yes, this is going to be good. I can feel it in my bones. Some mash, some gravy, and a few peas. And we are rolling. Hmm. That they consider this the best comfort food in Great Britain, that's no miracle. This is so good. Be back in a minute. Cheers again. Ah, that was a really good meal. And uh, <clears throat> for some reason, some people tend to frown at pub grub uh, like it's <clears throat> It's like a bad food, but uh, my not so humble opinion is that the food you get in most pubs, at least the one I visited, are actually quite good. It's not the fancy spancy ones, 
uh, where they put up the food in small islands like it was an archipelago in the Pacific Ocean but it's filling and it's reasonably priced and uh, uh, most of the time the quality uh, is pretty good but I mean if you went to the pub and they served really bad food no one would eat it would just drink the beer and eat somewhere else so uh, if they want customers they have to do pretty good food so <clears throat> I don't think that the food in the pubs should be frowned at on the contrary <clears throat> and the drums uh, down at the marathon they are still going like nobody's business so uh, so much for solitude and silence today and uh, I just hope that it doesn't leak through the microphone so you hear it all the time uh, I mean okay the drummers are talented and so but it kind of doesn't fit uh, in this context so to speak yes um, that's more it for today I think and thank you for sticking with me this far and uh, if you like the video and think it was of some value to you please give me the thumbs up you know it helps spreading the video across YouTube and uh, if you aren't a subscriber already you might consider pressing that subscribe button to get a notification when I'm out and doing shenanigans outdoors who knows what it'll be next time well I do actually but I'm not telling you until you watch it so thanks for stopping by take care and cheers <laughs>